Here are the latest numbers in Minnesota. The Department of Health says there are now more than 10,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the state, and 534 people have died from the virus. 473 Minnesota patients are still hospitalized, including almost 200 who are in intensive care. About half of the people who've tested positive for COVID-19 have recovered. There were a little more than 3,800 daily tests yesterday. Governor Tim Wall says 5,000 daily tests is one benchmark he's looking at before he fully reopens the state. Wisconsin has just over 9,200 known cases and 374 deaths. About half of everyone there has gotten better. A new report shows the devastating impact of COVID-19 the 19 pandemic is having on lo job losses. Naomi Ruckham reports on an unemployment number not seen since the Great Depression. I'm just like trying to survive this. Claudia Lugo lost her job at a Macy's in Orlando when the coronavirus forced retailers to shut down. She hasn't been paid in five weeks and has yet to receive an unemployment check from her state. The bills keep coming in and we don't have an income. The Department of Labor says 20.5 million Americans lost jobs in April, the worst monthly loss on record. That brings the unemployment rate to 14.7 percent, a level not seen since the Great Depression and a huge jump from February's 50-year low of 3.5 percent. There is certainly some aspect of this that could be seen as a potential glimmer of hope. And that is that a lot of these people said that they were temporarily laid off. And that could suggest that they will be coming back into the labor market. With the coronavirus shutting down stores, retail jobs were hit hard. Some two million people were let go. But leisure and hospitality, including restaurants, saw the biggest impact, losing 7.7 .7 million workers. And all industries relying on tourism furloughed jobs, from Las Vegas casinos, all of this would be full of patrons, to Florida beaches and New York museums, where Ethan First lost his job as a tour guide. I really don't know how I'll get by, how I'll be able to buy groceries. First looks forward to going back to work when restrictions are eventually lifted. But Victor Ho's position at a cosmetic company was eliminated. I have some savings, you know, that I can live off of. He's joined by millions of others trying to find a job when there are now fewer to fill. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York.